Okay, I'm going to make another video for the integration chapter. This is another question student asked me on my Facebook group. Alright, so this is an integ integration question, obviously. Alright, so you will see a curve over here and then a straight line which is tangent to the curve. Alright, as as usual, the first one he asks you to find the equation of this straight line. They call it equation tan of the tangent at A. So when they say equation of tangent, first thing you have to understand this is the tangent line, which is the equation for this straight line. After that, he asks you to find the area of the sh shaded region. All right, and then he asks you to find the volume, all right, which is rotate on the y axis like 360 degree. Okay, this is a very common integration question in the in the uh, SPM exam. All right, so first before we start to do, uh, let me understand why is the coordinate a first. So if coordinate a he tells us is like uh negative one a right. So we basically will give a little bit information on this. All right. So if we got the uh negative uh negative one and a first thing we have to understand this the meaning from here to here actually is a isn't it? So here will be a, and then from here to here actually will be the negative one. All right. So okay, let me just roughly write it out. So I'm going to write here is negative one, and here actually is a. All right. This is something very important when you want to find the area. Alright, it's but not for the first one. Okay, let's come to find the first one. Okay, let's let's say for A. A if it asks you to find an equation, you you know that you need two information. One is you need the gradient. Okay, for A you need two information. One you need a gradient, and then the second information, you want to find the equation, you need a point. Alright, so gradient in this chapter, we know we are not using the y2 minus y1 over x, uh, x2 minus x1. Because this is integration chapter, we want to find a gradient, we always need to find the dy dx. Alright, we know that dy dx actually equal, equals to gradient. And then we need a point. Obviously, we have the point on the line itself. So the point itself is negative 1 and 8. Alright, so now let's find the gradient dy dx first. So we are given the equation y equals to x squared plus 7. So dy dx will be very simple. dy dx will be, of course, I expect you know how to differentiate this one. You've got 2x. Just move the power 2 in front and then minus 1. All right. So 2x. But then this is not yet the gradient because this one got the x is variable. So 2x. Now, so now we want to find the gradient at this point. So this point when x equals to negative 1. So I'm going to write when x equals to negative 1. Then now I got my dy dx is 2 multiple with negative 1, which is negative 2. All right. Now I got the gradient, which is, okay, I'm going to write in the, So I got my gradient is negative 2. So now I got the gradient and I got the point. So I can easily find my uh, equation of the, of the tangent at a. All right, so so I'm going to okay. Let me write it in red color. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to call this one. Uh, okay, let me scroll down here. Okay, so I'm going to call it equation of tangent of tangent. All right, we're going to use the formula y minus y one equals to m x minus x1 all right i hope you under uh, you can understand this is the formula to find the equation all right so what is my gradient just now gradient equal to negative 2 is is it's very obvious like and then we got the gradient and then we also got the point all right i'm going to substitute this point into the x1 and this point into the y1 all right so my y1 will be 8 so y minus 8 here will be I substitute the negative one into the x one, so it will be minus negative one. All right, here should be simple. So y minus eight equals to negative two multiple in this one called negative two m. This is plus one, isn't it? So plus one and multiple negative two will be minus two. All right, so I move the negative eight to the other side will be negative two m. Here will be plus eight, so plus eight will get you plus six. All right, then I done. This one is the equation of the tangent. This is the equation of the tangent.
All right. So this equation will be very useful when you want to solve this kind of question. All right. Okay. Just let me like type the equations quickly. Okay. Wait for a while. Let me. All right. So, what is the equation again? Equation will be y equals to negative two x plus six, isn't it? All right. Then. Okay, I'm going to move this equation over here. Alright, so have a look here. If you got this equation, y equals to negative 2x plus 6. Alright, and then we want to find the y-intercept because we know when we want to, no matter we want to integrate, uh, we want to find the area, we want to find the volume, this point is always useful for us. So, this is very easy. We know y equals to mx plus c. This one is c. And then we know c actually is a y-intercept, isn't it? So, if c is a y-intercept, we know this one actually is 6, all right? So I know this one is 6. So I'm going to write the uh, the x-intercept itself actually is a 6, all right? So I'm going to say this one is a 6 here, all right? So here, from here to here, actually is 6 to 8, all right? All right, then now what? Now I also need to find a y-intercept for the curve. So y intercept for the curve is very simple because we know y intercept y will equal zero. I always say y intercept when x is equal to zero. x is equal to zero, we can get y intercept, right? Yes. So this one, x will equal to zero. So imagine y equals to zero squared plus seven. What is y? y will get seven. So obviously, I know this point actually equals to seven. So I'm going to uh, use different color just to make you not so confused so I'm going to say okay let me put an arrow or anything for it so for this point all right I will got equals to seven all right this one is seven all right now I got all the y in the set ready now I can do the part b okay part b what is the p what was the b he asked you find the area of the shadow region so area of the shadow region actually you got two choice you can integrate toward x as it or you integrate toward y as it all right both will give you the same answer all right so in this case in order to make myself easier i'm going to integrate toward x as it all right so when i integrate toward x as it i know that the area i want to find is actually here Okay, I want to find the shadow region. The shadow region is in the red color already. So you're going to see here. So when I integrate this curve, I integrate this curve, I will get everything here. Include the red and green color. Alright, then I'm going to integrate the straight line. I integrate the straight line, I will get the green color one only. So I'm going to use the integrate to the curve, means that everything red and green, minus the green color, then I can get the red, red color zone. Alright, I hope. It's not so confused for you. So I'm going to integrate this curve from 0 to negative 1 or from negative 1 to 0. Okay, then I'm going to integrate the straight line. Same thing from negative 1 to 0. All right, so I'm going to start writing over here. So, okay, it's everything I'm going to use the black color. Okay, I'm going to call this one B. All right, so everything red and green color. Uh, so I'm going to integrate. Okay, so I'm going to integrate this, uh, this curve, right? So it will become integrate x squared plus 7. So obviously, this is toward x, I see I write dx. Okay, and then where is, where is my limit? It's from negative 1 to 0. All right, I go to minus, I integrate the straight line. Integrate the straight line toward x, I see, right? So the straight line equation is over here. This is 2x, uh, negative 2x plus 6 is dx also because to x is it and then the limit is same negative 1 to 0 all right so let me just ex explain so this one you will get the red color plus the green color all right and then this one you will get the green color green color zone okay so mean this green color zone so if you use the red color if you integrate the curve from x squared plus 7, you get the green and red. You minus the green, then you can get the red color, which is the shaded region over here. Alright, I just use some color just, just to make sure you can understand it better. 
Alright, so now I start to integrate. Integrate is very simple. Okay, let me scroll down a little bit. Okay, the integration is very simple. We know is power plus one divided by total power. So this one will give us x cubed because two plus one over total power. Then if only number, we just plus an x for it. Alright, it's just that simple. So this one will be negative and uh, negative to the zero. So same thing we integrate here. This one, power one, right? So negative two x squared divided by total power. If the number, we only plus x for it. All right, so this one will be same thing, negative one to zero. All right, then I start to substitute zero into that. We, we got nothing, so we got zero. Minus, okay, we substitute negative one into here. This one actually will give me negative one over three. And then substitute negative one into the seven uh, x here, I, it will give me negative seven. Okay, I solve this one. Same thing, I substitute zero over here. Okay, this one actually I can simplify. Left one here. Okay, I substitute zero over here. I give it everything zero. Minus, I substitute the negative one into here. Okay, negative one square will give me one. One here got a negative, so it'll give you negative one. Minus six. All right, it's very simple equation. So, over here, this one is, actually this is, okay. This one, actually you can press calculator if you're not sure, this is negative 20, negative 22 over three. So, got a negative here, negative, negative, and positive. So it'll be 22 over three. Here will be minus, here actually will give you seven, negative seven. So it'll be positive seven, and another negative will be minus seven. All right, so you solve it. This one actually is 21 over three. So we'll give you one over three unit square. All right. Simple. All right, so this is your answer for B. Okay, so we got this area. Easily, it's 1 over 3 only. Then we go to the last part. Last part is a C. The volume, okay, the volume of the revolution in terms of pi when the region is powered by the curve. So he said the region is powered by the curve here mean, okay, the region will go into inside this curve. All right, inside here. All right, and the straight line Y equals to 9. Okay, and then it's rotate 360 on the X as it's going to rotate over here. Alright, so it's going to rotate over here. So first, let me draw the line first. Because the line is quite important. Okay, use, uh, let me use back the red color maybe. Okay, I use back the red color. Easy for, okay, this is 8, right? This is Y equals to 8. So I know Y equals to 9 is rough, roughly higher a little bit. So I'm going to roughly here. Alright, then what I do is, I'm going to write a 9 here. Alright, so first you must understand where is the re region they're trying to find. So the, the region they're trying to find, let me use some other color, maybe I use blue. Alright, so the region they're going to find is pulsed by the area, uh, pulsed by the curve, and the line y equals to 9. Basically, is this area. Because this area is pulsed by the curve and y equals to 9. So do you see the blue color area? Okay, so this area going to rotate 360 on the y, 360 degree on the y axis. So basically, he will form a con. All right, he will form a con. Okay, so in order to solve this one, let me just uh, erase some of it. Okay, this one, so yeah, if you want to see this one, you actually can play, play back here. So I'm going to delete everything here. Okay, so because I need quite a lot of areas to like explain this one, so I'm going to delete everything. So if you want to watch this one, actually you can just play back. All right, so here you got all the information over here, isn't it? All right, so rotate on y axis. First, we must know the formula if you rotate on y axis. So the volume formula for this one is rotate to y axis. Here we by r square h, isn't it? So I'm going to write of the formula will be pi okay so it will be integrates or maybe a to b all right pi r square h so okay this is pi okay where is our r you just imagine when you wrote when you rotate like this when you rotate like this your r actually is this length isn't it so your r will be x so pi r square h 
So this one will be dy. Alright, this is actually just a formula for you rotate to the x axis. Uh, you rotate on the y axis, sorry. Okay, so now you okay, so now you want to do uh this formula. Alright, this one is when you I'm going to write some notes for you. Okay, rotate on y axis. If you rotate on x axis, it will be simple. Just change this one to y, y square. Alright, so this one, x square, means what? You must make your x square here as a subject, then only you, you can substitute into here. Because this one is y. Alright, this is not y square. It's y square is simple. You square here and square this side. So, I'm going to solve this equation first. So, I'm going to move the 7 to the other side. So, y minus 7 equals to x square. So, simple, my x squared equals to y minus 7. So, I got this one. This one is going to be very useful when I want to substitute here. So, pi x squared, isn't it? Anyway, what is my limit over here? So, you understand my limit over here actually is from 7 to 9. When I rotate, this is my limit, right? 7 to 9, alright? So, I'm going to substitute everything here. So, my limit is from 7 to 9. And pi, what is my x squared then? My x squared is y minus 7. So it will be y minus 7 dy. Alright, so this is y minus 7 is still is the x squared. Alright, so you don't square it again. Alright, okay, then we can start to do. It's simple. So we know the integration law tells us that this pi is just a number. We can leave outside. So then I integrate 7 to 9 for this number y minus 7 dy. Alright, so I start to integrate. This one will be very simple. So y is power 1, right? Add a power for it. So 1 plus 1 is 2, divide by total power. If the number, just add a y for it. Alright, then this one will be 9 to 7. Alright, then what you need to do next is you just substitute the 9 and 7 into that. And then you solve it. So this one we call 9 squared 81 over 2 minus 9 multiple 7 is 63. Alright, then you minus, you substitute 7 is 49 over 2 minus 49. Alright, is that very simple? Then, of course, you can press calculator for this one. So I'm going to use the calculator. 81 over 2 minus 63 will give me, okay, will give me negative 45 over 2 according to the calculator minus this one on 49 over 2, alright, this one is obviously is negative 49 over 2. Alright, then you press the calculator again, negative 45 over 2 minus negative 49 over 2. Alright, then you get the answer actually is 2. Alright, so obviously the final answer will be 2 pi. Alright, so you can write the unit cube if you want. Alright, so this one will be the final answer. Alright, this question is not really hard. Of course, you have to understand how to find the volume, how to find the area and everything. And then, yeah, for this sort of question, you always find the equation. And then, it's necessary, you always find out the x intercept and y intercept. Because you're going to need it whenever you solve the part B or part C. Alright, and then, of course, you have to understand the question at, at the first place. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching.